However, I do not believe in the caste system. I don't agree with the caste system. I always hated this system. Very unfair. Negative impact. It shouldn't exist. Do not support the caste system. I myself am Brahmin. How about you? No? Then you are beneath me. This is what I was taught by the Hindu traditions. In world history class, you might remember learning about the Hindu caste system and thinking how crazy it is to live in a world where it would apply to you. Students all over the world are taught about this topic as a component of the archaic world history. Nevertheless, here I am for the past 17 years living with it as a part of my life in this modern civilization. The caste system is a poison in our community, in my opinion. Um, it was built for a different purpose. It was just a classification of the different types of jobs that people used to do. But today it's been uh, used to, you know, uh, use as a social class. However, in the process of the human evolution, uh, that was changed into discrimination. You know, the rich people started considering the poor people as a different caste. Before we dive into learning more about the caste system and understanding it more from the people around us, let's learn how the caste system is separated and divided. This is Lord Brahma, and in Hinduism, he's known as the Creator God. So, the Brahmins are supposed to come from the forehead the Kshatriyas from the arms, the Vaishyas from the thighs, and lastly, the Shudras from the leg or the feet. So unfortunately, that became a kind of taboo in the process, and people started considering as a very uncivilized way of you know, classifying the human society. I think it's something that was um, obviously man-made a long, long, long time ago under a very different social structure. Um, and it has over time been used to discriminate and it has been used for purposes that was not what it was originally meant for. Honest opinion, the caste system is an outdated system that was designed to uh, make the ancient society function and I don't know if how it worked back then, but I really do believe that it should not exist in today's world. The God created four brothers. There are four brothers. Uh, he gave four different jobs. Like the eldest brother was supposed to be the priest. The second was the Chatriyas, whom the second brother was assigned the job of uh, ruling the nation. The other brother, the third brother, was assigned the job of agriculture, the land, the farming, you know. The fourth brother was assigned on the job of cleanliness. That was the concept initially. The caste system basically determines who's the best, whoever's on top is the best, and like, that's not true. It, it, just, it makes no sense. I don't think there's any positive side of this caste system because it only affects those who are in lower caste. Namaste, my name is Anita Biswa. I'm from Nepal. I'm currently from Massachusetts. I'm 18 years old and I come from the lower caste. Um, growing up as a Hindu, I loved my culture and my traditions, but it came with a lot of disrespect and hate from the neighbors. Another thing that many don't know about the caste system is even lower than the Shudras are the untouchables which are nowhere written in the holy books of Vedas, Mahabharata, and Ramayana. This is all man-made. Untouchables were for those who were living in poverty, whose skin color was darker. And so they were not welcomed in the community and looked as even less than humane. Colorism plays a huge role in this system because you are considered untouchable if you are dark-skinned. I remember the ladies uh, yelling at me because I touched their water and they would have to throw it away. I remember lying to my friends' as, um, parents about my last name because they wouldn't let me in. Sometimes I had to wait outside to wait for my friends to come out and play with me. They divided. They started calling 
Oh, Brahmin means superior. You know, they are the topmost class of people. They will not eat anything from others. They are kind of untouchability. They will not touch anybody. Um, to tell people that uh, they are either better than the other group or lower than the other group. Um, it is a dividing factor in our community. Something like caste shouldn't be keeping um, our community divided. Currently, it's, you know, uh, keeping families apart, um, creating all sorts of, uh, you know, uh, chaos in uh, different people's uh, lives. And I just hope that as a community, we can uh, erect it from its roots. There is a saying that says, you cannot go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Or when Gandhi said, if you want to change the world, start with yourself. Or even the powerful cliche, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Just like that, youths and younger generations everywhere have started speaking up. They have started spreading awareness and they're ready to make a change. Now here are some few brave youths and their opinions, their personal opinions on the caste system. However, I do not believe in the caste system. Um, I feel like it's a way to, it was designed to just divide and discriminate against mankind more than we need to. I believe in a world where everyone should be treated equally and fairly with respect and that's what I have always believed in. I never really supported the caste system, neither do I like it because I feel like everybody is at the same level and should be treated the same. As a new generation, I would like to encourage people to try and bring a change in this community. The change is not going to happen over a night, over a day or, or anything. Um, it'll take time and we should keep trying until we accomplish our mission. The caste system is not a tangible thing, it's an idea in our head. So for it to cease to exist, we need to change the way we think, our mentality. And that's gonna take time. I don't know if our older generation will be agreeing with it, but as, as youngsters, we should focus on building a new society for ourselves where we don't let our castes divide us. The caste system has reluctantly turned into my favorite topic to converse, a topic to argue with my elders and spread awareness amongst my peers. To me, there's only one caste, and that is the caste of humanity. I don't want to be known as a role model who followed society blindly. I want to be known as a leader who changed the minds of millions.